happy y'all broke up because now you got time to focus on you. A lot of you guys get into these relationships because out of scarcity. A lot of you guys, you know, just pick this one woman you want to be in a relationship with simply because you can't get under other women or you think that she's the only one. But in reality, guys, there's ones. There's no only one. You choose what one you want to choose. You understand? You have to realize this, man. When you get in a relationship with women, it's because you want to. It's because you you picked her. You're like, out of the bunch, I want you. It's not because you're the only girl I'm with and I can't get any, any other girls and I don't feel like I could attract the same girl like you, the same woman as you. That's operating out of scarcity mindset. You guys have to understand that if you're going to get in a relationship, you're going to have to have an abundance mindset. You're going to have to have already a lot of women around you because think about it, guys. You get in a relationship and your self-esteem goes down because you feel like, damn, this is the only woman or the only woman that, uh, that I attract and I feel like I can't get un other women. But in reality, guys, you could get a hell of a lot more women like her, bruh. You could get women exactly like her, you know, same pretty at the same pretty level you know same body type same eye color same lips i don't it doesn't matter guys you can attract the same woman like her maybe it's not going to be the exact same but it's going to be very similar you know you guys have to understand this man as a man you need a first of all purpose is everything your your whatever you do your job making youtube videos working out training people whatever your purpose is that is number one, okay? Not your woman. Your woman is last out of the priority list. And I keep on repeating this so it's ingrained in your head because a lot of y'all put the woman on top of everything. Oh, woman over my purpose. Woman over working out. Woman over me. You guys are, I'm gonna tell you guys, you guys are idiots if you do that. Because I used to do that and I was an idiot. When I did that, guys, you, you become hella depressed. You become stressed out hella anxious because you you basically rely on her for your happiness instead of your purpose you re, you guys rely on your purpose to be happy don't rely on women to be happy women cannot make you happy guys if you're not happy internally how the hell externally someone's gonna make you happy how is that gonna happen you must be stupid if you think that and it's okay you know, accept the fact that, hey, maybe I'm, I'm not thinking alpha. I'm thinking like a beta. So change, you know, convert to alpha and be happy y'all broke up, guys, because it wasn't meant to be. Trust me, the universe will bring you people that are meant to be around you, that are meant to be in your life. And shit happens for a reason. You know, stuff don't happen for no reason, guys. The universe makes it happen for a reason. There's a law, law of attraction. You know, there's a law of everything, guys. So you have to understand Okay, this happened for a reason, so you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to become a better man. I'm going to hone in my skills. I'm going to freaking focus so much to the point where women are hitting me up. I'm not hitting up women no more. You know what I'm saying? That's the way it should be. Water break. Ah, water is so amazing now. Be happy y'all broke up because now you got time to focus on you. Now you got time to become a better man. Now you got time to work out. Now you don't got to worry about texting her. Now you, don't got, you ain't got to worry about hitting her up, seeing how she's doing. Now you, got, now you ain't got to give her a ride to her job or whatever. Whatever you're doing with her. Now you ain't got to worry about that, man. Now you can get, now you can talk to who, who, whoever you want to talk with without any consequences. Because I know how it is when you get in a relationship, you kind of feel like, Ugh, I don't want to be talking to her because I don't know how she's going to feel. Guys, now that you broke up, with her or y'all broke up, whatever happened, guys, now you're free. F now you're free, bro. Now the chains are off your ankles, off your wrist. So do what you gotta do, man. But don't be sad, don't be depressed, don't be reminiscing about those memories you had with that chick. Cause in reality, guys, she's not the only one. She ain't nothing special. You know what I'm saying? If you're really a high valley male, you really take care of yourself, you're a king, you're gonna value yourself to the point where She's missing out, not you, bro. Cause you know what you're doing in your life. I don't know about her. Hopefully she's doing something as well, but most of these women aren't doing shit in their life. They're not doing nothing. They're not doing caca. They're not doing nothing, you know? But as a man, you can't be like that. You need to work on yourself. Cause a man 
is in this world to be a leader, to guide people, to guide women, to guide boys and to men. We're not here just to, no, just la 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 la, just doing my thing, la 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 la. We're not here for that. We're here to guide people. We're here to lead people. We're here to create, innovate, make people aware, more logical, more more sense in people's heads. We're not here to create havoc. We're not here to create emotional trauma. Nothing of that, guys. <clears throat> Excuse me. We're not here for none of that. We're here to guide our men and guide our boys into men and guide our women. Because let me tell you this, bro. Women are so out of so out of pocket that they be doing a lot of stupid stuff because I'm out of emotion. That's where we're here, you know, on this world, uh, in this earth as men to help women make the right decisions. And most women are not going to admit that I need a man in my life because of feminism and whatnot. They be, they said, this is, this is, this is their quote. Come on, girl, be independent. You go, girl. That's what they say. And that's nothing bad, but baby, you need a man in your life because a lot of y'all women, your, your, your emotions mess you up. Your emotions guide you to make decisions. And when you're making decisions at an emotional level, you're not making the right decisions most of the time. You're making decisions out of emotion. If you make decisions out of logic, you make one hell of a bet of, of a decision. Because now you're saying, okay, if I do this, I do that. This is not going to work. This is not going to work. Oh, okay, I do this. I do that. I talk to this person. You see? But emotional is like, oh, whatever I feel. If I feel like it tomorrow. If I be, if I'm happy. If I'm sad, I don't want to do it. You see? And if you're a man and you act like that, you're very feminine. And you're not at your highest potential. You're acting like a woman. And you're a man, not a woman. You know what I'm saying? We should, might as well just put the woe in front of your man. Because you are that's what you are. A woe man. And I'm, I mean, I'm not trying to make fun of you. I'm just trying to. You just gotta realize, man. I'm a, I'm a, I'm gonna talk to you like a man. I ain't gonna talk to you with feminine energy. I ain't gonna be like, oh, it's okay. Don't worry about it. Everything's all good and dandy. You know, you're doing fine, honey. You know, it's okay. Everybody's emotional. Oh no, don't worry about it. I'm not gonna do that. I'm a freaking man. I'm gonna talk to you like a man. I'm gonna talk to you direct. Go talk to your mama. Go talk to you to your sister if you want some feminine energy. But if you come on my channel, you can get some masculine energy, not some feminine energy. You know what I'm saying? Because we ain't here for that. We're here to become men, alphas, leaders, guides, guiders, mentors, etc. The messengers. So be happy, man, that you're not in a relationship no more. Be happy that you don't have to see her no more. Be happy that y'all aren't compatible. Because now you have time to hone in your skills, become a man. Be better at your craft, work out, fix your face, make YouTube videos, go get some money, become a high status male, etc. Bro, because let me tell you this, bro, when you were in a relationship, she was sucking in, she was sucking the, sh the, the shiznit out of your energy, bro, just sucking it. She was sucking it out of you, bro, just how she was sucking your tip, she was sucking you up, just and now. That she's not around you, bro. You have more energy. You feel more alive. Because some women just want to leech on your energy every day. Because they don't have any confidence. They don't feel good about themselves. A woman, guys, that has a, a high value woman is not going to be clingy. A high value woman is not going to suck the energy out of you. She's going to respect you when you don't want to hang out with her. She's going to understand like, oh, my baby, my baby just doesn't... You know, don't want to hang out today. It's cool. He has work to do. You know, a oh, low quality woman's gonna get pissed off. She's like, why can't you hang out with me? Huh? Are you talking to other women? That's a low self esteem woman. Why would you want to be with women like that, boy? Those are the worst type of women. Those women are very clingy. They very bipolar. One day they hate you. One day they love you. Guys, if you're with a high value woman, bro, she ain't gonna play games with you. I mean, every once in a while, sure, but that's if you get out of pocket and say something stupid. But. If she really likes you, bro, and she's a high value woman, bro, she's not gonna take you for granted. She's gonna enjoy your company. Bro, you don't even have to talk, and she's gonna like being around you. And that's a real high quality woman. But a lot of you guys be going with these 
I'm not gonna lie, these 304s, these, these undercover 304s, a lot of you guys, because you don't see the signs, you don't see the, the, and that's just the truth, a lot of y'all be cuffing these 304s without even realizing it because you don't know female nature. So be happy, man, that you're not in a relationship no more just simply because now you got time to focus on you and become a man, the man you aspire to be. Alright, so that's it with this video, man. Make sure you comment, like, subscribe. Holla at your boy. Trunks out, baby. Boom.